Hello everyone, it's Kay here. I've got a little project I want to share with you and it is as a direct inspiration from Marie's scrapbooking on YouTube. What she did was put together what looks like a clutch bag but when you open it up it actually turns into an album. Well I didn't centre on the clutch bag aspect, I've just put a belly band around mine but this is how it's come out. It's very, very festive, which is what I wanted it to be. December 25th here with the little doodads. I've used gold mirror board just to throw the um, paper back out, uh, which I purchased from Handy Hippo Crafts. The belly band is made from the mirror board as well. And what I've done is just put an ordinary, um, very fine uh, peel off along the back of it, which I'm hoping the camera will pick up. And I've used this little snowman, which I covered in, um, oh dear, <laughs> glossy accents very very lightly just to protect protect the image because it obviously it is going to get a lot of wear and tear um, and this was from a pack of five and I think it's craft creation something of that nature they do a lot of little things just like this in bags at this time of year and I find them ever so useful so that that's where they came from so if I show you the front again, we've got this flap area here. I've not used a magnet or anything, but clearly if you wanted to use it in the clutch bag way, you could put magnets either side of this lid and keep it secure, keep it together, put some ribbon or something to make a faux handle onto the bag. I've used the same papers on the back. I'm sorry, I don't recall the line. I bought them last year and it is just, you know, very basic Christmas papers, might have been do craft or some such. Then you open up and et voila, here is a little mini album all on its very own. Plenty of areas for messaging or for photographs and that kind of thing. There are then three pockets which I've lined with the paper either side. Just put a little bit of um, the mirror board decoration pieces from dies, various dies that I've got in my possession, just to um, give it a little bit of lightness. And on the back here, one of the Sweet Desire dies that I bought from Handy Hippo some time ago and showed. Um, within each of these envelopes, and that's what makes up the album page aspect are some photo mats. Again they lend themselves very beautifully to whatever you decide to use them for. I've just used a folded over one and a half inch round scalloped edge um, punch to make the little pull for each of the mats and just continued again with the paper just to strengthen and give a little bit of substance and they range from 8 inches which is the larger mat, 7 and 6. Marie does a wonderful tutorial, it's not in English but it's very very self-explanatory. There are some subtitles with it which help immensely and just make the process easy to do. So I hope that's pleased you, I hope it's inspired you. Thank you very much for sharing this with me. Take care. Bye-bye.